Are you ready? Oh my gosh, I think it's going to storm. Hi, Bob. You are so dirty. Okay. Hi. Hi, Bob. Yes, I still smell the same. I haven't changed a bit. No. Hey, I see shag bark came. Oh, good. But I hope it's okay. They put everything in the in the hay stall. Not the not the grain. The grain they put in the grain room. But the shavings are in there. They don't seem to be in the way. Yeah, yeah, you're going in here, dirty boy. Maybe you will try really hard not to be so dirty all the time. Yeah. Come on. We'll get your itchies out of the way and then you can go eat and your, have your dinner in your stall while mommy takes care of the rest of the crew, okay? All right. All right. All right, we got to get your fly boots off. Let's get them off. One, two, oh, Dakota. I think I'm gonna clean these. Whoop. My boy. All right. I know, I know. This would be a quick, 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 quick one. Yeah, nice and fast. purple in your tail, me. All right, let me get a little bit more. All right, Bubba. There we go. This is mane and tail shampoo. I use all kinds of shampoos. Oh, you got a big bite there, bub. You got a big bite. What do you think of that? I know, but you're a dirty boy. 
That's what happens when you get a white gray horse, right? Almost done. Let's finish this up. All right. We're gonna dump this into your tail. And then we're actually I'm going to use a little bit more. There. I think I just squirted that in my eyes. Huh, I got you some tearless shampoo for your face. But we're not going to worry about your face today. You gonna stand still for me, please? Yeah, it's good, bub. It's okay. It's okay. Gonna put some cider vinegar in and rinse him with the cider vinegar. And this will actually, it'll help with any itchies. Right? It helps with itchies and uh, does a nice job, like a conditioner for them. We still have some pretty deep yellow marks, huh, bub? Yeah. We're still fighting the yellows. Yeah. You're almost done, honey. This isn't a long bath, it's a short bath. Ah, ah, ah. Stop. That just went right down my armpit. Yeah, it went right down my armpit. What? Hi, you know you'll have good things when we're done. Yeah. Stop. All right, hang on, we're gonna put more of the apple cider vinegar in. Mm-hmm. And then we'll scrape you and then you can go in, you can eat your, eat your dinner in your stall and I'll take care of everybody else. I knew you'd stand on that. I knew you were gonna stand on it. How did I know? How did I know? Can you just move for one second? Thank you. So let, let mama get this side. Stop. Don't do that. Move over. Thank you. Oh. Back it up. 
Thank you. Good boy. Stop, 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 stop. You'll get an apple when we're done. Yes, you will. Oh, are you playing ballet right there? Are you doing ballet? Because it looks like it. It kind of looks like ballet. <laughs> That's you pitching a little bit of a, a hissy fit, huh? Yeah. I have to make sure you're completely rinsed. All right, Bob. All right. You're done. Now we got to scrape. Yeah. This is where I make sure there's no more suds, but you shouldn't have many. That's the beauty of the girl with the dog's uh, hose attachment there that we put the shampoo in is you get a nice dilution. So you're not concentrating areas on your animal with uh, shampoo that you might not rinse properly, you know? So this does make it a lot easier. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Hey, can I get you to move over? Maybe after I get this scrape. over a little bit, hon. Over. What do we do? Cross, cross ties. Cross tie ballet, right? Yeah, I know. <sighs> this is just, oh, there's, there's still a little bit of Bugs are really bad this summer. The biting bugs have been out really since mid-June. The kind of bugs you don't usually encounter until August, you know, the biting flies. But they're alive and well. I have to wonder if it means we're gonna have an early winter because he started shedding his summer coat not that long ago. I know. Give mama a minute. Let's put some, I ah, hate you handsome guy. A little conditioner. And I won't touch this. I won't try to comb it out until it's completely dry and I'll probably use my fingers first, to pick it out. It's, his tail's easy to comb out. It's never one that is uh, hard to get any tangles out of. Okay, I'm gonna guess you'll want a uh, an apple, right? All right, you, you did good. What do I have for you? Oh. Oh, that scary apple. Why do I bite his apple into small pieces? Because if you've had a horse with bad teeth, he doesn't have bad teeth. But when you do and you've experienced a horse that has choked, you become a little diligent in what you feed and how you feed. Because choke is 
No joke. <laughs> like I said, I do have a tearless shampoo for him that I got from Girl with the Dogs 2 off her website. So it's a nice shampoo that you can use on your horse's face and you don't have to worry about it getting in their eyes, causing any issues. All right. So I'm gonna put him in here with his fans on. His grain is in here. It's right there for you. I will close his stall door because he is known to be a Houdini at times. So I'm gonna put his fans on him so he'll dry quickly. Bring him a little bit of water, not that he really needs it. He's gonna go out for the night after I get everything cleaned up and put away. It's really wonderful to have hot water at your disposal for washing your horse. It's really a game changer. And this great utility sink right here really That was not fun. Let's try this one. Probably should have done it this way first, right? Now I'll take this one. It's no fun unless you're taking a shower too. Clean up your mess, don't want to stand in water. Glad I wore my boots. Bathing horses and doing this cleanup could be like a new ASMR kind of video, right? I feel my camera slipping. That's all right. is for my niece, Brittany Needham. Listen, you probably enjoy this part of it. I'm gonna make sure you come out and watch it. I know how you love to watch carpet cleaning. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> 